Hey guys, I'm Sam. I'm Jody. Welcome back to our channel, Razor Focus. We're so glad you joined us. And what are we doing today, Jody? Today we are installing what we unboxed. Yay! And let's get these installed on our razor. So we've got the razor out. We've got the light sticks that we unboxed, and let's get it done. Okay, so uh, we had to get some mounts. The light sticks do not come with mounts. So you have to order those. You have to order those. We'll put the link in here. And we found some on Amazon that we really liked. And uh, they were not too bad price. We'll put the link in. You'll be able to see them. These work for the 2-inch two, two and the 1 and 3-quarter uh, inch uh, tubing. That's what we have is the 1 and 3-quarter tubing. And uh, it's just a 5 millimeter Allen. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And you tighten those on and then add the light bars? Is that what you do? Yes. And one thing that, uh, that I was looking at, if you'll hold that, Jody, sure. is... And we, we've got these specific ones. We do everything overkill. And if you look, these have a little more of an angle, like a gusset on it. The problem with that is we can't go this way. We have to go this way. Either not, That's not a big deal. And the reason being is because these light sticks are built really beefy. And see, I can't, I can't put it in there. But so I can go that way. Okay. So not a big deal. But it'll work either way. We're going to just set this light stick in here. And, uh, Probably the other one too. Yeah, go ahead and set those in there, Jody. And okay. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of disassemble this one. Yep. And uh, they're just five millimeter Allens, which is cool. And if you'll get that screw, Jody. Oh. I'll go and just turn it over. And it does have a little spacer. And I'll show you that spacer here in a moment when we take it off. Does that have a gasket? No, it'll squeak. It's a clamp, so it'll clamp on it. Open your hand. So that little oh, spacer. Yeah, that's cool. See, there's a little spacer for the two inch. So we don't need the spacer, is what you're saying? No, we don't need the spacer. And uh, we're just going to go take this last one out. And should be pretty easy to put on, so. Yay! I like easy. If I can get my fingers to work today. All right, and if you'll grab that spacer. Okay. Okay, so I am going to need, obviously, the screws. Of course. But we're going to set them right, what we're thinking is in this back row bar right here, we're thinking uh, this kind of has to go perpendicular for us. Because I'm thinking, yeah, something like that, Jody. Yeah, we can put the wire inside. It looks like a little bug with antenna. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, but uh, I'm trying to think here. Maybe we'll go just right there? like that, I think. We've got to remember that on the other side about like so. What do you Nothing. think? Okay. Sounds good? Perfect. Okay. Okay, Jody, so if you'll hang on to that light stick, let's get uh, these things on first. And we have a front and a back. And you can see how those are indexed. Mm -hmm. And the back of this one, so it's not just friction fit, it has all those little pegs. Oh, nice. So the good thing is you don't have to worry about it, you know, slipping and sliding. Yeah, because on the trail, you're going to be bouncing around a lot, so you don't want it to slip and slide. Yes, and we set two fingers, and I'll adjust again here in a moment, but uh, just get this started. And again, I'm just got to get my fingers to work. All right, if you'll put another one on there. Awesome, and if you'll put another one on there. If you'll put another one on there. Don't I have such a cute parts girl? <laughs> okay, so let me kind of put my finger where I want this again using my measurement tool. <laughs> nope. Please get that out of my way for a second. I was using it to measure. Oh, maybe that. Try that. So we want to like go right there. there. Let's level that to that. That there you go. I was using it to measure. Good job. Because your hands were busy. 
you're on top of it. All right. And again, now it's starting to, now one thing I do need to see is are we level this way? So let me kind of look there, Jody. Okay. Just kind of eyeball it. Looks good about right there. So we're up and down here level. You know what, let me get a, let's do this. And we'll see. So you're looking for plum and then this is gonna go like this? Is that Plum, correct? that's the word, yep, just like that. So let's see here. Yeah, we are close. We're at 91, look how close we are. We're at, with our eyes, we're at 91.6 degrees. Instead of 90. Instead of, look at that. Oh, got it. Nope. 90.5 degrees. That's, You're gonna go with that, that half a degree. See, she says uh, I'm the one OCD. It would bother him eventually. He'd be like, you know, that half a degree, I got it perfect on the other side. Oh my goodness. There we go. 90.1. That's as close we're going to get. Because <laughs> it'll probably change a little as I tighten. tighten here. I would bet. So we're going to just tighten that up there. That's a nice clamp. I like it. It really is. It, it seems like a really good build. And we're just going to go down there. So they're all stopped down. Give them the whole ugga dugga torques. And I don't now, think you need like a lock nut on the end or anything. It should be tight, tight now, right? Oh yeah, it's it's on there. <laughs> okay, so now I need the screw for that one. It's in my hand. Okay, so put the, put it on here. Well, I don't know how the put, holes put, line up I'm there. On. I was trying to get them lined up and I wasn't able to. Just oh. like that. And we're going to keep it in line with the roll bar. That's cool. Is that the way it goes? Yep. Yes. So there we go. And... Do we want the wire connector at the front or the back? That's... Uh, well, we want it toward the front because we know that. But now the question is... Like, Do I want it? To, we'll have to see. So let's just kind of put it on there hand tight. And uh, we may have to adjust. We may have to, to spin like it around put or it something. To this? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, and we'll, maybe we'll zip tie it here. We've got to see what the wires will do. So for now, we're just going to do that. Now that's a nut, a, a washer, and a lock washer. That's a and washer, that came... lock washer, and nut. And it was came with the stick. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be cool, Jody. I'm excited. That's cool, baby. Okay, so let's move on to this other side. And they kind of come in a little bit. We may have to adjust if we don't like that part, but we'll see. I think I it's kind of... I see why it would matter. I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, however they go on, they go on as long as they're stuck. Okay, so if you'll grab that... Uh, hey, let's go ahead and put one on there for me. Let's just kind of put it up here, get it started, and then we'll move it where, where we want like we did last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just used this to measure. Yeah, that was good. So. Whoop, do you see that? My hands went blurp. <laughs> Happens to all of us. All right, give me another one there, Jody. Awesome, awesome. And uh, if you have not liked and subscribed, like and subscribe. We're so excited we reached our thousand, and here soon, like I said, we'll be giving away a, a light bar. Woohoo! So that's That'll be exciting. Fun. And it's that light bar that's a the, sound The very bar. first one, right. yeah. So you need to make speaker, sure. Speaker, right? Uh, no, not a speaker. The first one was a light bar sound activated. Okay. So you need to make sure that you subscribe because that's the only way you're going to be able to enter in, in our raffle. And, uh, and that, win cool. the stuff. And then we've got some other things that we'll be raffling off too. So as we go through this process. We have some t-shirts too. We've got t-shirts. We've got... We got some speakers, we got uh, stickers. things that we've done on here. We're gonna we're gonna share the love. So make sure you like and subscribe. That way 
you can be in that love boat. Ha. The love boat. Okay, if you're kind of that looks good. Mm -hmm. I'll get your oh, level. Oh yes, baby. get that little level. Let's see what we think here. <laughs> Four, 92, 91. 90.1, come on. Oh, 90, 90 point. Let me tighten it a little bit. It was 90.2, so it's going to flex just a it bit. It just moved it a little. Yeah, so that's like, let me uh, get some tension on there. Yeah, see, I'm at 88 now, so, so like, I got to get some tension on it. Oh, 90.1. <laughs> ah, same as the other. Yay. So now we'll tighten these up. And uh, and then we kind of made just a little, I made a little quick idea for our wiring earlier. Uh, you'll see it, we're gonna show it. It's not a, a full all wiring harness. Cause what I may do, I was it's not thinking- not fancy, but you were, you were getting it started. Well, I just kind of was trying to wrap my head about what I wanted to do because what I think I want to do, which we're gonna keep these yeah, so I like I'm gonna put them on a switch. So <gasps> oh, I'm gonna, yay, I don't have the a, a light harness. Oh, and we'll talk about that here in a second. I'm gonna the same light harness that we did on our front lights. Will you put them in the bus bar then? Yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna order a Polaris light bar, that, a light harness like we have in the front. Okay. And so they'll be on a switch. That'll be perfect, so, and they'll go. The power will go to the bus bar instead of right now. We're gonna wire it to the battery. I'm just gonna kind of yeah, I'm gonna wire it to okay. the battery. I was a little concerned about that. I don't like things wired direct to the battery just because it can drain your battery if you're not careful. Yes, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Up there over here, I get my head here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so now I need the screw for that one, Jody. It's oh, you done did it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. This. Yeah. You need the bolt for that. Yep, I need the bolt for that. And the nut. And the washer. It's looking good. I think that's so cool. Here. There's that. And here's this. All right. And so if you go, we're not gonna we're just gonna hand hand friction these because we, we may turn them as we do the wiring. And we're just gonna zip tie the wires at this point. I mean, that's yeah. kind of what you have to do here. Well you know. wouldn't want to drill through the tubing and thread it through. And no, you can it would mess up the integrity and the strength of it. I would Well, think. there's a couple of holes in the front. Uh, where the wiring for the Polaris wiring but light to bar. To fish it around these corners, I'm afraid you'd well, have to drill more than one hole. You wouldn't be able to really get to the the block offs. Mm -hmm. So once you could get to here maybe, but then what? <laughs> so yeah. okay, so these are just kind of temporary, just on here right now. Nothing. But well, you were saying you might want to go this way. So yeah, so we'll, I had it like this. We'll have to move them, but uh, that looks good. Ta da! That looks. Antenna. <laughs> that looks cool, Jody. I don't know. Two. That looks really cool. I like the way that looks. Looks really good. I like the angle of yeah. it. I'm excited to see them lit. Yes, yeah, so they're going to get lit. So now let's look at our little uh, wiring harness and we'll go from there. Awesome. Okay, guys, so uh, there's the red and black and I just put some butt connectors on it. And we're not going to use these just yet. We may later on down the road. And so I want to just tell you the yellow is, uh, bear with me here, uh, for your, your, your green, sorry, let me back up here. Your green is for your turn left signal. If you have uh, turn lights, it'll, oh, it'll flash signal. the left it'll one. It'll flash the left oh, that's one. That's so cool. The red, uh, the red wire and the white wire, uh, let's see, the white wire is the brake light. Hmm. So if, now we do have brake lights on ours, so they can light up when you hit the brakes. And uh, the yellow is the right turn signal, so left, brake, turn, and then red is positive and black is negative. So, so we're just using the red and black right now. Yes. Maybe later, I, I don't know if I want them to turn with the signals. That's it, a little confusing if you're playing music and driving and they're lighting up and then they light up It would again. light up solid like your turn signal, which for the brake light would be kind of cool, I guess. But uh, so what we're gonna do is I made a, if you remember on our test lead, we did a little kind of a battery connection. And so I, I, I did a, a black and a red for positive and negative. 
little battery connection. And you know, Jody, if you'll give me my drill out of there, I'm gonna do something. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make a quick little wiring harness, <laughs> but I don't want wires just randomly like that. So I'm going to uh, cut these the same size and I'm gonna put them in my drill. Oh, I wanna see this trick. So we're gonna do a quick little, so I got it in the drill. That is so clever. And I'm just gonna. And he's just guiding it with his hand. Yep, just guiding it with my hand all over here. And see that? That is so stinking cool. So now we have a little. Wiring harness, wiring it wound harness. them all together. Yep, they're all wound together. They're braided. That's too cool. Yes, yeah, so very cool. So now let's get back to where we were at over here. Now, I am gonna to have to undo this part. I should have thought about that. I was just so excited to show you. So I'm gonna undo this part. So we just have room for the battery. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back over here to the table, Jody. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut some ends off. And I love these strippers. <laughs> And I'm just gonna cut those off. I'm gonna wind that up. I wanted to show those strippers, honey, because they are really yeah, good. Yeah, these are awesome strippers. Or uh, Nipex, is that what Klein, Klein oh, tools. Klein. I do like Nipex stuff, but from a, this is actually a Nipex uh, wire cutter. Yeah. Or Knipex. Sorry. Uh, I would say Nipex too, but it's Knipex. But the, these are the Klein. Mm -hmm. And then I use the Klein uh, crimpers for the, uh, butt joints. What's cool on these is it doesn't let you over tighten, over squeeze them. Yeah, because I've broken them before because I'm a little aggressive. Yes, we uh, we all know that. <laughs> so now I'm going to just get some heat shrink and I'm going to put some heat shrink in here. And again, we're probably later on, like I said, I want to put a, an actual... Uh, you show us your... We're seeing hands. There you we're go. going to... Uh, I'm going to put, put an actual wiring harness for a switch so we'll have to get back into this later. Yeah. But this is just so we can operate and function with it now. So now I'm going to go with my red. That was cool. You can see there's red on that one. Mm -hmm. And I'm using a red butt joint. They're color coded. So I'm going to go to my red here. I'm going to we'll try put, and zoom in on that baby. We'll put that in there so it can zoom in. And I'm just going to squeeze. And look at that. And it doesn't over tighten them, which is cool. That is so cool. Because I, like I said, we, we both just overdone them and you kind of ruin them. So okay. you just slide it in like always. Slide it in just like you do. And then that crimps it so it stays and it doesn't overdo. It doesn't crack overdo it. it and it does a double crimp. That's so cool. So now I've got all that. Oops. Now I'm just going to bring this around this way and I want to just go do a little heat shrink here. Got my handy dandy little torch. And that's heat shrink over the clamp, cramp. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just heat shrinking over everything. So I've got the cramp in the middle. And I'm just gonna heat shrink it. That's just to ensure that it's watertight. Well, and yeah, water. This is a razor. Watertight. Now, this thing is waterproof, so I'm not too concerned. But. This kind of also helps from uh, keeping everything together. Mm -hmm. And there we go. That's good. So now we are heat shrinked. And now we're ready to go to the battery and run the wires. Awesome. Let's go. Okay, so we talked about the wiring harness last week because we kind of uh, just hooked it up so everyone can see. So what I'm thinking is we put some little red sticky tape back here. What I'm thinking we want to be, maybe Jody, is we can stick it like right in here. Well, the control unit. But let's see, uh, let's see where we, we kind of need to work our way backwards thinking about the lights. So let's send all these wires over and then you can kind of give me your thoughts about what, where, we, where we go here. So right now we're not connected to the battery yet. I'm okay. going to just run these wires. Okay. Through here. I don't know if you want to do it behind there because does the
controller. Oh, you can control it from the app. I was like, yeah, if well, it's like a remote that you have to point at it, that's going to be awkward. We control from the app. Okay. And so if I That'll do... That'll work. Is that long enough is my question. That's what I want to see. That's Here, let I'm me up. hold this one. And you go back there. Okay, guys, so we're not going to really adhere anything or stick anything for sure until we wire it up. So we're going to go back to the back and wire it up to see how we're doing for the length of the cord and all the things. And, yeah, I think there's plenty of length. And again, this is, we're setting this up uh, based on their connections. Mm -hmm. And their connections are super easy, as you can see. Well, it's hard to see. Show us again. Well, we'll go to the other side and you'll see that. Okay. So my question is, do we go like that? down i think that's the better option I honestly think so too because to come this way and over that would not work. yeah i just think down it's a yeah. good idea just like that mm -hmm. okay well let's go to the other side and get that connected okay. and then we'll run some zip ties and and so we're going to go what do we say we're kind of going inside yeah inside and down and down so, so we did change it a little if you look at the connections you're going to be way too close. No, nope, but it's good. Wow, cool. New camera, we're figuring it out. It only connects one way, again, because it's keyed. Nope. I'm trying to get a good angle. Got it. And it just goes That's right easy. there. That's so, easy. That's so cool. Super easy. Now let me get some zip ties, and we'll zip tie our way toward the battery. And then decide where we're going to stick everything. Is that correct? Gonna, yeah, so... I'm thinking if we go, you know, I'm really torn. You're torn which way to go, huh? Should I have gone, should I go that way and leave it toward the back? That was the original way I thought. Let's, let's just try it. Again, it's super easy to do, so if it was your thought, it's probably right. Ah, oh, gee, he's, he's being sweet, y'all. Every day. I know. It was just cute. So if I go this way, which is probably the better way, if I go, I could go more like that. Mm -hmm. And it could be on metal the whole time. Because I could put one here as well. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yes. So let's start here. That was my original thought, honestly. Okay, so we're just going to zip tie along the way here. And of course, if I could get my zip ties to go the right direction, because that will drive me crazy. Let's do them identical so they're all the same. And again, I know that's not a big deal, but yeah. it is for... You cut them and never notice. Yeah, but I, I do notice the directions. Mm. So I'm gonna just, we're just kind of going about every six inches or so. Just to keep it tight along there so that it doesn't flap or flop when you're driving along or well, bumping or get caught up by brush. Yeah, there you go. So let me just work my way under here. Get under there. Yeah, see there's plenty of, of wire. I was a little nervous, I, I must admit. I'm always like, will the wire reach? So good. I think that'll be fine, don't you? I like it. I like it too. Do I, should I put one here? No, I think. No, I too think much pressure yeah. isn't gonna be good. Well, too many wire zip ties will look kind of crazy too. You don't want it to look. Yeah, you don't want to be crazy. Nobody wants crazy. Okay, so this one I got to take off as well. So we can switch it over. Yes. To the other side. Switch it to the other side. Let's see how easy it is again. And these are waterproof connectors. Mm -hmm. This is Loyo. And I really like them. I think it's a, they, they have a great product here. Yo, yo, lo, lo. Lo, yo. Yo, yo. Oh, let's do these the same way. <laughs> You're so funny. Same way. Same way. They say it's the same, but it's not the same. And we're going to go all the way back here. And I'll get my pliers here in a second. We'll tighten it up a little, a little more. Mm -hmm. And... Get them going the same way. Kind of every six inches, like you said. Six to eight, maybe. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna feed this one under okay. first. 
that down there. And er, <laughs> trying to stay out of your way so y'all can see. It's hard though, because I'm trying to find the angle. All I see is hands sometimes. Yeah. We're in tight quarters here. Mm -hmm. And okay, so we have one right here. And then one that looks here. really good, baby. Yeah, I think this will work good. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay. So now, one thing that I want to do, and I'll show you guys this. There is a really cool tool, of course there is, mm -hmm. from uh, Snap-on. This is the... Uh, I'm going to look at all that red handle stuff. Shh. No. This is the uh, 786CF. These are specialty cutters for zip ties because if you ever want to make someone mad, put a zip tie on with regular cutters and see that you don't cut yourself because there's nothing worse than reaching over going oh I just ripped my flesh so these little guys cut super flesh and you don't cut yourself that's awesome later on see sometimes uh, people put put these things on look at that see perfect nice a perfect flat cut and they're just amazing I love them yeah, sometimes, you know, you're working on the car and the factory through the zip tie, and you're... I have cut myself so many times on things like that. And so a buddy of mine who's a Snap-on dealer, if you don't have a buddy who's a Snap-on dealer, you don't have any buddies. For so, now, we're just going to tuck these wires in behind our boxes because I... Uh, and I'm going to get some of those adhesive... Like little hooks. Oh yeah, the ones like we had for the phone cord. Yes. On the ceiling. Because uh, I don't want to attach it up here because then it would be dangling. Right. So I don't want Agreed. To and it's not really quite long enough to follow it along and go down. So I'm going to put this up here where that's at. That little bump. And let's see here. I may need your help, Jody. Do you think it goes... Yeah, it'll be hidden there. I was like, there or up a little higher? A little divot. Well, I may need to get a razor blade. I can get it, baby. These little stickers. Oh, wait, did I actually do did it? Did you do it? Yes. I hope so. Do it, do it. <laughs> Come on. It's right there. I can see it. Look at that. Jody just does it. Me and stickers. Stickers don't like me. But everything likes Jody. All the little kiddos. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, she almost put it in her, the wrong spot. It. It's got to go. Move your hand. We're going to put it like so. That way we have the wires. There we go. So now we're pressing it here. Hold it for 30 seconds. Oh, joint pressure. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. All right, and then see as uh, we're holding that, you can see where the battery's at, and we're just going to connect it to that battery. Woohoo! Okay, Jody. So obviously you can see I made this wiring harness super long. This would have it would have been cool if uh, this would have been a little longer coming out of the control box. Mm -hmm. uh, Loyo, just a just a thought, you know. Uh, and they're a great company. They've been asking us questions about what we think about the product, and we've been communicating with them. This is one of those things. Maybe this should be a little longer. Looking at the way a razor is designed, so it would go, you'd be able to connect directly. So we're just going to have a little extra, and we know that because we are going to switch this over. Because if you look over here, Jody, we have two spots there, mm -hmm. and we have two spots over here on this side, too. Woohoo! So, so we have space. We have plenty of space. And we bought, we installed and bought the biggest, bus the bar. bigger bus bar. Yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got plenty. And like I said, this is just going to go over the top because it is temporary. Uh, we will be replacing this. And I'm going to just push this on here. And this has like a little washer on the bottom. And it's just going to go just like that. That's cool. And you did the negative first. Does it matter? Uh, no, it, it really doesn't. I... I always did the negative first. Yeah, it's kind of just one of those things I've always just done. 
All right, so now we're just gonna tighten this one up. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna tighten these down so we can make sure we got our angles correct. And this is an 18. And I'm just gonna tighten that real quick. And that's the, the light rod itself. Okay guys, we've got them installed. And here's the app. Let's see how uh, awesome this app is. It really works. I'm just gonna turn it on. <gasps> Look at that, instant. Wow. Instant, this app, you know, the app is really the, the key to this because I just uh, opened the app and it connected and right now it's cycling through. And again, as we demonstrated before, you can go to the app and you can just change to colors town. however you want to. That is so cool, baby. And you can go up here and change it however you want to. I don't know if it's because we've done so many light bars, but this one seems to be the easiest I agree. to install and use the app. Look at that. It matches our, uh, our green. coloring. Green. Matches our you green. can't see the green on the... You Maybe if you turn out the lights, we can see, see the lights better. As much. Let's turn off the lights. Yeah. Whoop. Go do it. In front of you here. And let's see. Uh, you know what I can do? It'll probably show better is to reduce the intensity. Man, Ooh, cool. that looks better. Let's take a look here. That looks so cool. Oh, wow. And look again. So look, as I change the intensity, you can really see the colors better on the camera. And yeah. uh, I'm going to, that's a, I like that color. I'm going to save that color. I like it. Because too. that's our razor color. Yes. Razor green. Ooh, it makes the whole garage glow. Pretty colors. Yes. So very cool. And let's see here. Do a demo. Let's do a mode here. Mm -hmm. And again, look at the, the brightness there. And the, the megahertz of it. So let's go to, let's just pick something. I'm just picking. Just random, honey. That's just random. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, look at that one. Let's see if we can see really see the colors. That's green and blue. It's really hard to see on here. You can see that it's different, but it... There oh, there. You, go. you can see that it's different, but you can't really see what color it is. Check that out. Let's zoom in a little better and see if we can... Look at that. See, that's cool. There we go. That's Look at that. That's cool. I like it. You want to do a song? Wow. A little bit of a song. There was one on let's there. Let's see here. Yeah, let's, let's do a... Woo woo. Wow. Dan, dan, dan. Sweet. Look at that. It has a microphone on it. Let's access the microphone. What does it do then? Hey, Jody. Jody. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Cool. Very cool. So see, it goes with our sound of our voice. Does it do frequency or syllables? What do you think? I, I don't know. That's super cool, though. I like it. Hey, guys. So those are awesome. Don't you think so, Jody? I like the Loyo whips. Loyo. Loyo. Loyo lighting. And we're going to put the links in there. And the brackets are cool. They were easy to install. The lights, the whip, the Everything. bracket, the wiring, all of it. The it wasn't app. hard at all. And the app works, which is so nice when you turn it on and it just works. It just works. And that's something I don't want to be frustrated messing with apps that are not thought out. This thing just works. And <laughs> I love it. And you see we got the rainbow going on in the back there. and It's the, just beautiful. I love it. These are going to stay on our machine. Loyo, thank you. Thank for you, a, thank you. We a, like them. A great product. Easy to use. Easy to install. And uh, you're going to see those on the trail. And, and they're customizable, which I think is so cool. By the color, by the sound. The microphone, you can even use like your That's voice. Cool. You can make your own beat to the <laughs> colors or whatever. I don't know. You can do whatever you want with it. So Loyo, awesome. Thank you. What a great, great product. Uh, we're excited that we are chosen to review that. And we are blessed by that. And so thank you again. And again, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for joining us on our adventure. And most of all, we pray that you have an amazing and wonderful, blessed every day. And stay razor focused.